My name's Rachel and welcome to my channel. This isn't the first video I've made on my channel, but this is the first one where I'm face to face with you guys. I know I should give the speech about how inspired I am and how I hope that I will help many of you and let you enjoy my channel, but we all know that is a bunch of shit. I shouldn't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Today I will be doing a tack haul and just for a disclaimer, in no way am I trying to brag about myself. I just, this is more of a collective haul of things that I've gotten over the past couple months. So let's get started. As I said, something, all these things I've accumulated over a couple months and all of them are from Dover. So that's just, just to let you guys. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is just some brushes that I got for my lease horse originally, which I had leased in the summer, but she recently moved in August. So now they're just going to be for the new God is this Oster mane and tail comb. I like to use these on their manes because generally I don't like brushes used on their manes. I feel like they're just a little bit too harsh. And I really like the brand Oster for brushes because I feel like it's just really high quality. And this was $6.99. I got this because I like to use these on their manes rather than a brush. It's just my opinion. The next thing I got was this Oster Mane and Tail brush, which is $10.99. And I just really like this brush because it's a very good quality and my friend has one and I've used it before. And I really loved it, so I just had to get one. This next thing I have is probably one of my favorite brushes. It's not really a brush, it's a curry comb, but it's the Oster Fine Curry Comb and it was $9.99. And like, to be honest, I love it so much because I personally don't like metal curry combs. I feel like they're a little bit too harsh on the horse. And where I come from, we don't usually get a lot of rain or anything like that. So they never get like mud caked on them. So I just really love this fine curry comb. I'll do a close up that you guys will be able to see. But I just love it because it has this little nub, a nub right here and it's just really easy for grooming or anything. Okay, the next thing I got was an Oster Stiff Grooming Brush, which was $12.99. As you can see, I'm in love with Oster brushes. I tend to not spend that much money on horse things because I don't have hundreds of dollars to freely spend, unlike some people. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I just personally don't have that kind of money. So I usually like to go on like the cheaper deals, but like still good quality. But on brushes, I really try not to like go cheap because I really love good brushes. And I feel like if you keep these well maintained, they can last you for a long time. Brush, and it's really, really stiff. And I know some people wash them before they even use them on their horse. So I might do that. So. And the last Oster thing I got was this Oster finishing brush, which was $14.99. And it's just short coarse hair, I'm pretty sure, not for sure. And it's just, I like, as I told you before, their quality to me is amazing. And so that's just really my opinion. I mean, I mean, I know other people have different opinions on different brushes, but I just personally love Oster. So that's all for my Oster brush, like goat hair brush and pretty self-explanatory. The bristles are made out of goat hair and it is so soft. I basically got this for my soft brush because I couldn't find any Oster soft brushes that I wanted. And this one just seemed a lot better because it's real wood. But this was, um, I believe $9.99. But I will correct myself if it's not. But this is just a really nice one close up to show you guys. So. Okay, and then the last brush, I know, finally, <laughs> was I just got this standard face brush, which is kind of ironic because I got this months ago and now I don't really like the color purple, so yay. But anyway, I'll just use this for their face. I mean, it's kind of cheap. I, I got it for $1.99, but I think that was like a sale or something. I don't know. I think it's normally $2.99. I don't know. I mean, it's a good small face brush. I mean, I really wanted like a really soft goat hair face brush, but they didn't have one of those at Dover. So, screw you. Okay, 
Okay, the first thing that I got were these Ariat knee-high socks and they were $9.95 and I just love them so much. I have used them before because as I said, this was a collective haul, but I just think that they are so cute and they are so soft and they've just, I mean like, they've put up with a lot of things that I've done. I mean, I'm not very gentle with boots or socks or any breeches and these are pretty nice and I love, 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 love the design on them and I'll do a close up of the design because I just, I love it. <laughs> These are the Carrots Performance Riding Tights and they were $49.99. And see, because I'm a person like this, I normally don't spend a lot of money on breeches. I'm not a fan of spending hundreds of dollars on breeches considering I tend to ride bareback and in shorts. I'm not a competitive person. I don't show. I just think breeches are really nice to have if it's a cold day or if you just really want to be in something comfortable while riding. But these are really nice. I actually really love them. They're purple, ironically again, I don't really like the color purple, but I do think they look very nice in breeches. So they're just these. They're not full seat or anything. They just have just the normal knee patches that you can see. And they have like elastic grippies, elastic rubber bands at the end to like con conform to your ankle. Did you say that word? Is that a word? These don't have belt loops or anything, which kind of makes me mad because I really wanted to wear belts with them, but I mean, that's kind of my own fault. Um, it has the Carrots logo right here. And I overall, I've used these for a couple months, as I said, I've used these for a couple months, as I said, this was a collective haul. Um, and overall, these are really comfy. I mean, they're nothing for winter. Like, you could wear them in fall, but they're very, they're tights. I mean, they're not, they're not made for winter, but they are really nice summer clothing. I mean, I love them. Snaffle bit belt, which is actually very common, so I mean a little cliche here by getting it, but I love this belt. <laughs> so much. It's made out of real leather, um, what is it, English bridal leather, mm, bonus. It has these adorable little snaffle bits on the side, and it's just overall very nice quality, like very nice. I remember I rode in it, it was a little stiff at first, but you get used to it. And this was $42.99. Yeah. Mm. Like, comment, and subscribe below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.